Welcome to this edition of So You Know. I'm Russell Conti with Sewing Art Center. Today I'd like to show you a really swift technique for putting in a yoke on the back of a shirt. You ready? Let's get to it. So the basic tools of the trade. For this project you'll certainly need a good quality pair of shears. You'll want some good pins. Thread to match. Again my go-to thread is cotton. A size 70 sharp needle for a woven fabric that's shirt weight. Stitch length should be 2.0 millimeters. And then also you'll want your fabric pieces cut out for your garment. You'll want the shirt back. You'll need two yokes, an inside and an outside yoke. And you'll need your two front pieces. Installing a yoke is a two-step process. What we actually want to do is take the back and sandwich it between the yoke. And then finally, once we've done that, we're actually going to sew the fronts of the garment to the t shoulder seams of the yoke. So the first step is to leave your yoke face up, okay? And I like to find the center of the yoke simply by folding it in half and putting a finger crease there so that I know exactly where center is. I'm going to do the same thing to the shirt so that I fold it in half, finger press it simply to find the center. What we're going to do then is place the shirt so that the centers of the yoke and the back of the shirt match up and pin there first. Then I like to bring all the way to the edge here and make certain that my edges match up right where the sleeve is going to be installed. And then go ahead and split the difference in between. Once we've pinned the yoke to the back of the shirt, we're going to lay the other yoke on top of it face down. And again, we want to make certain this center point here that we find simply by folding it in half and laying it onto the center there, match up. And now we'll remove that pin and pin all three layers together, making certain that the raw edges continue to match up. And now we're ready for sewing. For this particular project and for this particular pattern, my seam allowances are a quarter of an inch. So you want to make certain you're using whatever seam allowance the garment called for. Again, when you start, if you hold the thread tail back when you first start, that will keep the threads from getting captured in the machine as you start. Check your raw edges to make certain they're lined up and continue sewing. What we want to do is take the front of the garment and place it face down so that the right sides are facing and we're going to match up the shoulder seam. And when we get ready to match these shoulder seams up, we're going to pin them in place but we're only going to pin to the upper yoke. So do not pin it to both yokes at the same time, just the upper one. Of course, match up your edges first. That tends to be my habit. I go for the edges and then I go back and I split centers. Now once we've done that, we're going to take the shirt and we're going to take the fronts and we're going to roll them up really small, very small little tubes. Once we've done that, we're just going to hold the upper yoke, the one that we've pinned, we'll hold all the body parts that are sitting there and just kind of toss the other yoke back. So now you'll see the shirt back is rolled up and sitting on the yoke. The shirt fronts are rolled up and sitting on the back yoke. And now this one will roll over the top like that. What we're going to do now is match up the shoulder seams, all three layers. The yokes sandwiching the shoulder seams on the front of the garment. And we'll pin those so that they're very accurate. Matching the shoulder seams at the sleeve edge and pinning and then going back and pinning it center. Just like that. Make certain the raw edges are matching. Mm -hmm. 
And you'll notice that I sewed from the shoulder seam in toward the neckline, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, shoulder seam to neckline. Now that we've sewn the shoulder seams together, all three layers, we're going to go ahead and take the garment and pull it right side out. So just start pulling from one end. There's our shirt fronts, our shirt backs. And by virtue of doing that burrito roll, we've actually encased the seam allowances so that no raw edges are showing. We didn't have to top stitch. We didn't have to do any hand stitching. All one nice little step. And the final step in this process is simply to do some top stitching on the back at the bottom of the yoke and at the shoulder seams on the yoke. Now top stitching is simply stitching that you can see, just like we did on the front of the garment. And what we want to do before we do that is give it a nice little press. You don't want to distort the fabric, you just want to hold a little bit of tension on it so you don't capture any fabric in the seam allowance. Here's our shoulder seam at the front, and we're going to sew on the yoke. And in my case, I've elected to sew one quarter inch away from the edge of the seam. And there you have it, our first top stitch yoke installed and self-faced. Thank you for joining us for this edition of So You Know. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install a yoke into the back of a garment. It's much easier than you probably thought possible. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us. You can find us on the web at SoYouKnow.com or SewingArtsCenter.com. I'm Russell Conti with Sewing Arts Center. Thanks for joining us.